I'm constantly sent mad videos that people send me that actually watch our podcast and they always send me videos. And uh, I thought today we would respond to some of the videos that people send me. What's up, baby? Welcome back to another episode of Rated G with Gary G. Garcia and Brian Licata. Once again, I'm your host, Gary G. Garcia, along with my brother and Mr. Information, Brian Licata. It is so good to be here with you today, my brother. Cheers to you. Got my little, my little water cup right here. Cheers to you, baby. Oh, yeah, I got, I got one over here. So, yeah. I had a coffee earlier, but uh, we started late, so I drank my coffee. Yeah. Um. <laughs> It's good to be, how you feeling, man, before we even jump into everything. How you feeling? How's your <laughs> treating you? Uh, it's, you know? it's, uh, it's going good, man. Yeah, got, we, we got no complaints. Zero complaints whatsoever. That's always a good thing. Yeah. For no right complaints now, is a good thing. I mean, I went to the grocery store again today. 80 bucks. You know, just drop of a hat. Like One or two bags. Two bags, 80 nah, bucks. No, nah, I see this is the produce store again. So, you know, I got a bunch of bags. But, you know, I got... I got some, I got some, uh, they, they got a good bakery there. So I got some bread. I got uh, a couple different kinds of breads, um, some fresh cheese, you know, some fresh right. you know what I'm saying? So we, we, we're going we're gonna to eat good this week. Good, man. It's good. You need to eat well. <laughs> you might want to throw some meat in that diet. You know what I'm saying? Just to fatten up a little bit. We got to plump you up a little bit, dog. A little I did. Bit. I did have a really good pork chop this weekend. Uh, me and Christina went out to dinner on Friday night. I got a very, very good pork job. Very good. I've been kind of a little uh, detoxing, but not like detoxing. I just kind of cut out my drug intake for a little while, trying to get a little more sleep, mm-hmm. uh, staying off the porn. That's and, good. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, okay. To be honest, man, my day started off. Uh, I was just saying that I had that ticket in New York that I, I fought it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I yes. fought it and I never got a response. So I just went on and I got my response. I beat the ticket. You know what I'm saying? I'm very, it's, it's a small victory. I knew I deserved to win. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I'm, I'm still upset at the cop for just even giving me a ticket because I did it on the app. And the ticket that I got said I didn't display a time thing. Well, what time thing am I supposed to display? I did it on the app. The parking app. Oh, that's that's what you got a ticket for? Because you Yeah, for parking. And they, they hit me that. saying I wasn't supposed to be there because there was no display of the time on the thing. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Leave my phone? Am I supposed to leave my phone there? Right. With the thing showing? I'm pretty sure they have a way to check. Right. They, have, they would yeah. have to, right? They had a way to check. That dude just chose not to check. He hit me with like a half hour left. So, you know, I sent them in. Luckily, that's why you should use that that app, people, because it gives you a receipt. I sent in the receipt, sent in the other shit. And they said, you know, yo, this dude shouldn't have got a ticket. So big up to myself for fucking not just paying that ticket. They can kiss my ass. And uh, I beat it. So I felt good about that. Uh, Shout out to the Park Mobile app or what was it? Park by app or whatever app it was. Bang, yeah, now parking New York parking or whatever the fuck it was. I don't even know, man. But but big up to me for fucking telling him to go fuck himself and actually win it. I appreciate myself right now. I tell you what, I love that that's how you can pay for, for parking now. I hate that you have to pay for parking, especially on city streets. I think it's fucked up that you gotta pay. But, yeah, we spoke you know. about that before, man. I mean, what are you gonna do? You don't want people sitting there all fucking day. You know, out here they do it differently though. Out here, they give you like three hour parking or or hour parking, two hour parking. You don't pay right. a meter. You just you can only be there for two hours. And a car comes around, sees when you're there, writes down your license, comes back two hours later. If you're still there, they hit you with a ticket. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. I mean, either way, you can't have them sitting there all day. So I kind of get it. I, I think once you go up the residential blocks, you know, but well, I mean, there's no parking as it is. Yeah. I want a car though, man. Having a car sucks. Anyway, I, I like having a car, but so I got, I got, I got something that I think would be fun for us to do. I, I think I have a good idea. I, I'm constantly sent, I'm constantly sent mad videos that people send me that actually watch our podcast, and they always send me videos. And uh, I thought today we would respond Ooh. to some of the videos that people send me. What do you think about that? 
I I'm going to shoot them over. I'm going to shoot them over to you, right? Okay. Instagram? And then, uh, Instagram. And, then yeah, and then we'll show it, and okay. then we we'll respond to it, right? So I'm sending this one over to you right now. Wanting to become president of the United States. So I sent that one to you. This is sent to us by uh, he sent me a couple. So I'm going to show a couple from from a couple of of listeners that send us stuff. All right. So this was sent to us by Mister Underscore Zoo Seven One Eight. He's a graffiti artist, uh, and I'm guessing in Queens. Uh, he follows us, and and he sent us this video, and this is Gerald Ford talking to the press about about getting the first woman president. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna respond. I thought this would be fun. Let's check it out. This way, you know, I actually look at the things you send me, people. Young lady wanting to become president of the United States. <laughs> well, I hope we do have a young lady at some point become president of the United States. That'd be nice. Uh, I can tell you how I think it will happen. Tell us, General. Because it won't happen in the uh, normal course of events. Either the Republican or Democrat political party will nominate a man for president and a woman mm -hmm. for vice president. Interesting. And the woman and man will win. So you'll end up with a, a president, a male, and a vice president, a female. And okay. in that term of office of the president, the president will die. And the woman will become president under the law. Would you give a young? <laughs> oh shit! That made me. That made me hell wrong. <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh my god! Oh my god! Gerald Ford just basically said the only way he ever saw a woman becoming president. <laughs> <clears throat> is if they become vice president first and the president dies. He basically said he never sees a woman ever doing it in the normal, well, he said in the normal way. He doesn't think it would happen in the well, normal way. Well, he said, way. yeah, not the first time. At least. You know, not the first. Yeah. What do you think? You think Kamala? I mean, man, I'm he still pretty got sure. three I'm, years, right? He still I, got three years. Yeah, I'm pretty sure me and you predicted this anyway. Yeah, you know, yeah, we 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 said this. We weren't the only ones. I'm not gonna say that. No. We 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 predicted that this this will happen, but it doesn't take a rocket science to put one in fucking one. Kamala's together. gonna be our next president, right? Are we saying it here? On yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's say it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's Kamala's gonna be our next president. Yes. All right, Joe now, Biden's now. got maybe one more year. This is his first year, right? Yeah, because. Uh, no, second. No, no, because this is the midterm. Going into the second year. Yeah, now. yeah. These are the midterm elections in November of 2022. These are the midterm. These are the midterm elections. So he got it in what 2020. 2020. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He went. Yeah, he, so he, he got elected. In. He got elected in November 2020, right? And then in January 2021, late January 2021 is when he got put into office. Remember, January 6th was was January 6th, 2021. That's okay, Trump so he came in afterwards. So in other words, January will actually be his second year. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah. He was elected correct. in 2020. He didn't yeah. get into 2021. So he's got two years, bro. So what do you? What, so he still you got mean? two years. So we're gonna. You think we're gonna have Kamala for like two years? I think we're gonna have Kamala for two years. I think. I think. Uh, Here's my prediction. They're gonna have to get rid of him. They're gonna have to get rid of him. They can't even deal with a, him. He's a babbling a, idiot anymore. This is they a, can't deal with him. He's a babbling idiot. This is a bold prediction, but I'm gonna say in the next 90 days. You think during the, you think they're gonna get rid of him before the pre? I think this way, this way they can like run Kamala, but they can't run behind. You know what? Kamala. No, no, I take that, I take that back. I yeah, they can't back. run behind. No no, Kamala. no, 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 no. This is what they're gonna do. This is what they're gonna do. They're gonna wait until the midterm elections are over in November. And old they're Joe's gonna, gonna off. and then old Joe's old gonna, Joe's gonna croak. Christmas. Yeah, old Joe's gonna croak. All right, man. Yo, big up to you. We got one more. We got one more <laughs> from Mr. Zoo. We got another one from Mr. Zoo. This one I think you're gonna like. This one is uh, aliens. So obviously, yo, Mr. Zoo, you've been you've been watching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Two things so far on point. 
Do you have any of his art? Do you have any of his art you can send me over? Uh, you can go to his um, to his page. I can send yeah. you his page. Yeah, send me his page. Yeah, I'll play this alien clip, but I want to show up some of his art. You said he's a graffiti artist, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How do I send? How do I send? Uh, I could just send you any of his things, right? And that Correct. would that would give you his thing. That's a good yeah. way of doing it. You're not yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, baby. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning how to do things here. Okay. You know. All right. Let's watch the aliens clip. Then- let's let's see this. Tell me what you think of this one right here, man. Yeah. There's another one from Mr. Zoo Seven One Eight. Whoa. <laughs> let's see what we got here. So they're shooting at something in the sky. Yo. These definitely sound like gunshots. They definitely sound like high powered gunshots, right? Like they're coming from those. Yeah, like, but I don't know. I don't know if the sound matches up to what I'm seeing though. You know. You know. I don't know. I think it kind of does. Yeah, I don't know. Like one of these, like these are those things that is so hard to tell if it's if it's real or not. It's you impossible, know? dude. Yeah, nor, it's impossible. nor is it. Nor, nor can we tell if they're doing some sort of training. You know, right. and they're flying some sort of drone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to tell. But if it is real, because you know we like to. Uh, Look at it from both ends. There's a good chance it's not real, but but we'll also give it the we'll give it the old rated G uh false fucking uh information <laughs> shit, right? Um, if it is real, that shit was booking. That shit was dipping it. It was booking, bro. It, it was, was booking, and it, and it, I would say it was fucking with them too. Like dude, this, with them. this 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 drone that I have under repair here. This I ain't gonna lie, do- that looks like a little torture thing that you got going on right there. It's like like you're, like you're torturing people in the laundry room. Uh, like, well, the laundry room's back there. That's what I don't want you to see. Yeah, that's what's, exactly. that's, that's, what's behind, that's what's behind this door here. No, this this little drone I have here, it's under repair because I fucked it up. Um, this thing, this thing can do like 70 miles an hour, you know. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So interesting. And you can put lights on them and all sorts of crazy shit. So I sent you a thing from a uh, zoo. Right, here we go. Here's his, here's his art here. It's a zoo 718. Yeah. It's dope, bro. Very nice colors. Uh, yeah, he has, he has a lot of good stuff, man. I, I checked him out. I follow him. He's real good. Follow that brother, man. He's uh he's very good. Hold on. I had um Oh, love, right. uh, I love I love graffiti art. Here, here's another one. All right, this one was sent to me uh, by Christopher Gill. Christopher Gill Real. Big up to Christopher Gill Real for sending me uh, some stuff. And this is like I said. I just want you to know that I look at you know. I try to I try to get to it. I try to read it, and I figure since you sent the time to send it to me, to the time to send it to me. I'll take the time to to react to some of these videos and see. I, I don't even know what it is. They send me all kinds of shit. So you're going to see some of this stuff that gets sent to me on a regular. Some of it is good. Some of it is, you know, whatever. Let's see. I want to know the number one reason why your man doesn't do the things you want him to. Is it because I do this sometimes? <laughs> Which for some reason makes my dog try to hump me. And I always say, stop fucking your mom. Stop fucking your mom. Dude, that's Mr. Boots, bro. Is that why? Do you want to know the number one? All right. Can oh, I just that looks say... exactly like Mr. Boots. I'm serious, dude. That's you think exactly... that was Mr. Boots' first owner? I don't know. <laughs> and they got rid of it because Boots was mes- sexually molested? That chick, I think, I think that chick probably has a lot of jars of peanut butter. You know, well, she doesn't even Which for, need it. She bro, just blows that. For some and how would she, like, dude, that's Boots. It's the same dog. Reason makes well, I don't know. Make a fuck sound and see if he comes up and tries me. to fuck you. Let's see. <laughs> Let's zoom it in. Let's see. You can't even do it, can you? 
The funny thing is, the funny thing is that chick did that once. The dog tried to fuck her. And she said, let me keep doing this. I don't know, man. You think she fucks a dog? I, I really think this is boots. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta send this to Tina, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. Here's another one he sent me. <laughs> What's that? Yes, oh, I said. Did, did I boots said, hear the noise I made? Oh, boots is trying to break out. He's coming over here. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> He's coming. Oh my god. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here. Nah, you bugging him out. Come here. No, dude, we gotta, we gotta watch it. Come here, Mr. Boots. We're gonna do, I'm serious, dude. It looks just like him. Give him a little sausage. Come here, buddy. Uh, now you're working him in with a sausage. Yeah, come here. Nah, he ain't gonna give in to you, man. He's not gonna give in to you. Hey, is that got him? Forcing him, man. I don't dude, think that's not the same it. dog from the video. <laughs> Look, look at the back of the head. Look, here, hold on, we'll put it up. <laughs> you tell me that's not the same dog, bro? Look at the hair. Yo, the dude, ears. I think that's how you got boots. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's a, that Someone was a wrote, well, my cat likes to hump my slipper, but only the left one. Hmm. Interesting. I just sent you another one that he sent me. And you don't know these people either, right? These are followers, man, that follow me. I don't, I, because of the names, I'm, I'm sure I met them, you know, in some sort of sense. Yeah. I'm not sure. You know, let's see what this one is. My love for you is like diarrhea. I just can't hold it. <laughs> My love for you is like diarrhea. I just can't. This is this is what what they said what they said me. Uh, what would that person do if they didn't have fucking the internet? Well, it's a very good question. It's a very good question because as as a, a video editor, I feel like this this would take some time. You know, this is at least an hour. You know, it's not under an hour, maybe a half hour, but but still, it's some time that's put into that. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I it was it was funny. I guess they took the time to send it to me. He sent me another one. Let's let's he, got, he sent me three of them. Let's check what this one is. This is another one from my brother right here, man. Let's see what he sent me. Some of these are people that I do know, and I'll let you know the people that I that I do know. You know. All right, here's the other one. Let's see what this is. Ah, oh, nah, nah, a fucking rabbit. Ah oh, man. Oh, oh that dude. bird is fucking disgusting. Uh, so, so for those of you who were they should who were just shoot. listening, there's a seagull who just ate a, a, a bunny hole. A full grown bunny rabbit. Is that a seagull? Seagulls are fucking gross. Them fucking Maybe that's like an rabbit. albatross or something. Dude, that thing's huge. Bro. That thing is huge and it just swallowed a whole bunny if, if you're not watching the video from the you just grabbed it out of the bunny hole, man. The fucking bunny came to look like if it was raining, you know, his wife was probably like, is it raining? And he said, I don't know. I'll go check. And he just poked his head out the hole. To see, you know, you probably heard a commotion. Those fucking like you heard a bunch of shit laughing. He said, oh, you know, there's something going on outside. I hear a lot of laughing because that's what they do. They sign they're fucking laughing. He sticks his head out to see what's going on and gets his whole body. Eaten by a fucking. Well, thank you for that one. I don't know who my day would have been like without seeing that one, Christopher. I thank you for that one, Christopher. Um, holy shit, man. Now, this dude always sends me shit. This is my boy. This is my boy, Carl. Uh, my old guitarist from uh, Rust and Blues. He always sends me all, all kinds of shit, you know? So I'll share a couple of the things he sent me. Let's see. I'll just like, I'll grab them. You know, this one looks interesting because the dude that's on it, I, I've seen the dude that's on it and he's always good for a fucking, let's see. Anti-gay. I'm not anti-transgender. I'm not anti any of these things. What, I'm, what I am anti is propagating your worldview on other people's children. 
If you're gay and you can't have kids, why do you now believe it's your right to go to other people's kids and tell them how to think? Don't come talk to my kid about it. That's my child. I will program my child with my worldviews. I raise them. I pay for them. They're my kid. They're not your kid. And they're not the government's kid. You've decided that having sex with women isn't worth it for you. You don't want to have children. You want to have sex with men. Fine. Your decision and you're entitled to it. That does not give you the entitlement to go to other people's families who did decide to have children and raise them and try and program their children. Leave the kids alone. You're not anti-gay. Well, how could I argue with that? First of all, he kind of looks at me. If that, that's why I don't wear sunglasses. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. That's why I don't wear sunglasses. I'm not going to lie. I like the dude. He, he, I don't agree with everything he says, but he's just a beast. He goes at people all the time. And Who is that guy? Is he a fighter uh, or something? Nah, he's a dude that just be going at like women. And, and I think he's some rich dude because he talks about, uh, he talks a lot about, um, whatchamacallit, uh, you know, like uh, chicks and men. He talks about women and men. He talks about uh, about like stuff like this. He's like one of just those. I don't know. You'll you'll start to see him a lot now that I sent that to you. Is yeah, this is the type of stuff? This is from a uh, plumber, plumber seven one eight. You know, this dude I know. Here's another one that he said. He sends me just all kinds of random stuff constantly. So here's another one. I stick motherfucking provolone in my socks at night so they smell like your sister's crotch in the morning. <laughs> all right? I stick motherfucking <laughs> provolone in my... <laughs> that one... That one got his face for itself. <laughs> Yeah, that's one of my boys, obviously. Oh, uh, yeah. That's one of my okay. boys. It, it, here's another one from Plumber, Plumber 718. Uh, I know how you feel. I want out. I know, right? Yeah, sucks. We got to keep it together. <laughs> Find a way out. Yeah. I want to get out. Yeah, I know. I, I feel like mommy out there. Like an alley cat. Mm -hmm. Running the streets. Making our own way. Yeah. Like lions. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> like lions. Like lions. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> like lions. That's the kind of shit he says to me all the time. It's not even things of, of value. Yes. I don't even know what to say. No, that has value. Although, that has although, value. Although I will Community say this. Community and entertainment value, but it doesn't have substance is what it lacks. Yeah, it lacks substance. I will say Lots this. Lots of value, dude. I, lo I love that, it. People make shit like that. I will say this, man. That is um, that is mama cat. I think that's how mama be looking out the window. Well, how do you feel yeah. that you, you've enslaved and trapped your cat? I'm... Uh, I told you I feel bad about that shit all the time, yo. You know what I'm saying? I told you I feel bad about that shit all the time. You don't think mama can handle herself, handle herself out in the streets? Um, I think mama, I don't know. Probably, man. I mean, she's got bodies. You know, she's got bodies. She's got a couple uh, mice under her belt, a couple rats. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to find a... This works better when you listen to what I'm saying. I, I mean, dude, mama could definitely hold her own with rats and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? She could definitely hold her own with rats and shit like that, but... uh, the cold. The temperature. I'm worried about other cats. Mm. That's what I'm worried about. Ganging up on her and doing some cat on cat. Yeah, violence. you know, I'm worried about other cats, man. I think she, I don't think she would do good with other cats. You know. Have you ever seen how quickly like two cats becomes like a thousand cats? What do you mean by reproduction or just yeah, they yeah. all start grouping up? Yeah, reproduction. Um, it happens fast. Yeah. It happens fast. All right, let's see. All right, let's get another person in here. Uh, this is um, Lady Indigosha. Okay. And uh, let's see some of the stuff that she sends me. 
She's a, a avid watcher. You know, I'm not gonna share names. I don't think she wants me sharing the type the type of shit that she says. But you know, these are just from followers, man. Let's see the type of shit she sends. I'm like, here, I I got, I got one. One of, from from one of our followers that we both know. Oh. <laughs> now I'm guessing that's Infinity and Beyond. Yes. Said that to you. Said it to me as well. I was gonna save the best for last. Uh, so I went and jumped the gun. Uh, yeah. I mean, what can what can we possibly? Well, I do want to say this. I feel like I remember. There was another kid barking, by the way. Right. I feel like. Which means there's another kid in there that identifies as a dog. Not necessarily, though. Right? Not Maybe it's just some kid fucking with him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, you remember when you were in element? Well, I don't know if you remember that long ago. I remember that long ago. And and I remember nobody acting like that. Nah, man. Like the weird theater kids or do some shit like this. Weird theater kids. I never had theater. (laughs) Theater. Fuck is theater. We had music for maybe one year and we all played a fucking accordion. Is that what it's called? The fucking, it's not the flute. Recorder, the recorder. Recorder, the recorder. Yeah, the recorder. That's what we all played beep, 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 for, for fucking like half a year. That was the extent of my fucking music. And then the music teacher quit or they cut the funding. Oh, I don't know. We got caught molesting one of the kids and they moved him to another school. I don't know. <laughs> the Catholic school hired him. <laughs> that was definitely not going on. And then you have to question, is the teacher even in the room? Right. Because if the teacher's in the room, man, that's a fucking huge problem, man. Maybe the teacher was taking the video. <laughs> the teacher probably took the video and was like, this is the shit I got to deal with. This is the fucking shit I got to deal with. Kids going to school. See, that's the thing. Like, they say now that the kids that go to school that identify as cats, that the parents are demanding litter boxes. No, dude. Mm-hmm. I got to fact check you on that. Look it up, baby. You know what I'm saying? Little boxes for kids who, who fucking identify as cats. And your jaw drops, which means there's an article that you found or something. I mean, we've talked about this. Yeah. I would like to think I make it up, but I don't make this shit up. People are, people are calling. Saying? People are calling. We'll watch the video and then, and then we'll... we'll Let's see the people call it fake. Activities. So let's talk about fury, furries. It was addressed by a child uh, a couple months ago that they are put in an environment where there are kids that are that identify as a furry, a cat or a dog, whatever. And so yesterday I heard that at least one of our schools in our town has a in one of the unisex bathrooms a litter box for the kids that identify as cats. And um I am really disturbed by that. And oh, okay, she's against it. More investigation on that. I know what's going on nationwide. I know it is. It's part of the agenda that's being pushed. I don't. I don't even want to understand it. But I think that people need to be aware of it. I am really upset as a parent that my child is put in an environment like that. And um, you know, I'm all for creativity and imagination. <laughs> lives in a fantasy world and expects other people to go along with it i have a problem with that so i'm just putting that out there i will investigate more all right yeah we we, we talked about this on the show before and yeah, there's yeah, a bunch yeah. of articles that say it was fake it's fake or whatever i mean i yeah. hope it is yeah. because then what's going to happen when the kids identify as dogs first of all do they even have to wear pants <laughs> secondly when they have to take shit so are they just going to do it on the floor <laughs> do you have to walk this kid you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. It's, it's just insane. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So in, in Michigan, that's what that was from. A school superintendent yeah. sent an email to parents to say the claim was false if their parent had stated it publicly at a school board meeting. So the video was real, but they're saying she lied about it. Oh, she lied about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily she lied, baby. She said she was going to look into it. She didn't right. She didn't say it as fact. She said she heard it. Right. That's true. So, so why say she lied? She didn't lie. She just brought up something she heard, says she's not sure if it's true, and she's going to look into it. 
Sure. Yeah. Uh, here we go. What happened? This is from the public. This is from the public school. <laughs> so, All right. Can you could you zoom it in a little bit so yeah, we can see yeah. some of the words? Yeah. All right. So what's this say? It says communication regarding false accusations made at December's MPS Board of Education meeting. Good afternoon, Midland Public School staff. It is unconscionable that this afternoon I am sending this communication. However, our Midland PS stakeholders may be confused about a false message accusation that has resurfaced this week and is gaining traction in social media. At the December 20th Board of Education, a community member addressed the Board of Education. During a comment, she stated that litter boxes were provided within MPS students' restrooms for those who identify themselves as furries. Let me be clear in this communication, there is no truth whatsoever to this false statement accusation. There have never been litter boxes within the MPS school. All right, so right off the bat, though, I mean, we can keep that up, but I just want to say one thing. They didn't deny that they have furries. Right. What they denied was they have litter boxes. Right. I want to read a little bit underneath to see if they address that, because I don't want to just, you know, I know we're misinformation, but I just want to see if they address the fact about the, let me be clear in this communication, there's no truth whatsoever to the source that, uh, uh, it is such a source of disappointment that I felt the necessity to communicate this message to you in this divisive, contentious world in which we currently yeah. find ourselves. Yeah. I ask if you hear wild accusations that don't sound like something in which Midland district would be part take a moment to send us contact message midland public school emphasizes and it's always to educate our community children excellence integrity and respect but they didn't deny that they have kids identifying as furries as animals no. they didn't deny that okay i guess they didn't feel like see for me i would have been like i want to make one thing clear we don't have litter boxes and the reasons why we don't have litter boxes is because we don't have kids running around thinking they're cats so why would we have litter boxes all, the, all these people are stupid and you're a bunch of morons for even believing that shit. But the fact of the matter is, all they said is, I just want to make one thing clear. We don't have litter boxes, people. That we don't have. And then we see a video of, of this kid who is doing a really good impression of a cat. You know what I'm saying? And kudos to her. I mean, I'm a llama. So who the fuck, you know, who am I to judge anybody? You know, I don't judge anybody, you know, but I think if there's a teacher in that room, they should at least quiet them down, at least like maybe rub her behind the ear to shut her up. You know, maybe she just needs some attention, you know, give her a fucking ball to play with. Oh, fuck. So the rest of the kids who have actual brains and you can learn something, you know, I can't even imagine like a teacher that wants to like actually teach their children something you know, just like an education. I can't even imagine what it must be like now to work in that kind of environment. All right, go to the next ones that I sent you, man. Let's move on Dude. to the next one. I got, I got, I got uh, one more, two more, two more, two more videos from one more person. Lady Indigosha. I sent you two of them. Uh, I only got the one most recent. Here we go. Okay. What's the one most recent? I sent you two, so it is. No, 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 one before that. I didn't oh, get one. I didn't, I didn't get one before this. Was this yeah, one? There's no one before that? What's the one before that? All right, so here, let me send it to you. Hold on. Because I want to show this one first. Uh, this one. I doesn't want a girl that's, that's just going to be naked all the time and put herself out there available for every. Go ahead. And like I said, I'm just picking a couple. Like I get so many of these. But, you know, since you take the time to send them, I want to take the time to show some of them. You know what I'm saying? She actually has been making sense for a while now. People just don't want to accept it. Candace Owens. I like Candace Owens. Let's check it out. Put the volume up. I can't. It's as it goes. You know, I don't have to be a man to know that that's not what men want. Right? If you think that that's freedom, the idea that you have to wear less the idea that you have to get naked to be heard you really think that's a form of freedom because that's not that's slavery that's bondage i didn't have to take off my clothes to be heard in society and these women will realize that when you follow these people that are you know self-imposed feminists i'm a feminist i do this i'm a feminist I, you hear that word over and over and over again you'll find the majority of them are miserable mm. look at their lives and ask yourself a question do you think they are happy mm. do you feel good when you do what they do 
right? When you're constantly looking for a dopamine hit from social media because you took your clothes off and you want somebody in your comments, you know, a thirst trap with your with your ass out, right? And and you want someone in your comments going, oh, you slay bae, <laughs> you slayed the day bae. <laughs> Hashtag Tuesdays, am I right? Yeah. Man yeah. doesn't want a girl. That- I mean, I don't even understand how some people disagree with her, yo. I mean, I don't agree with her on all issues like anybody else. And that's great because that means I don't still think it for myself. Right. But on that issue, I mean, is she lying? No. I saw at the end of the day that uh, it was a couple and they asked the chick, would you get mad if your man likes a chick in a bikini picture on Instagram? And she said, 100%. He's not allowed to go liking chicks on bikini pictures and shit. You know, that's for me. And they said, but do you post pictures in your bikini? And she goes, yeah. And he goes, is he allowed to get mad that you're posting that? And she's like, no. But meanwhile, you're going to have dudes liking that picture. You know what I'm saying? It's like a double fucking standard. What are you fucking talking about? And the truth is, you know, she ain't wrong. She's not wrong. You know, I mean, good men. In reality, if you're looking for a man that's some sort of value, um, a good dude, then yeah, yeah, she's 100% right. Now, if you're looking just to chill, then yeah, there's a lot of dudes that ain't looking for that. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of dudes that aren't looking for that. All they want is hoes, mm-hmm. you know? But then don't get mad when you end up pregnant by them and now you got to go to another state <laughs> to get rid of that mistake that you made. Um, or, you know, you're connected to this individual now for the rest of your fucking life. You know, or worse, you get you get you get the attention that you put out from the people that that's what draws their attention. Mm-hmm. You know, so like she said, if you're going out there and you're and you're uh, and you're dressing like in ways that show everything and, and you're using your body to get ahead, don't be surprised if the dudes that you get, you know, are just looking to get at that body. You know what I'm saying? And I would even go on the limb to say that 98% of the men are looking to get at the body. Mm-hmm. The question is, what do you have after that that keeps right. them there? Right. That's the question, you know. And, and you know, I'm not prepared to, to give that answer. You know, I, I think it's safe to say for every man it's different. 100%. Yep. You know. 100%. All right, let's see the next video that I sent you. And then we'll move on to some, something else, man. But yeah, people keep sending me these things, man. And, and if you if you want me to bring them up there, I'll, I'll show some of the shit you sent me, man. You took the Cruz, time. You said several times, you've used a phrase, I wanna make sure I understand what you mean by it. You've referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. It, would that be women? Many women, cis women have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So, so this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, we can it's recognize a that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. Those things are not mutually exclusive, Senator Hawley. Oh, so your view is, is that the core of this, this right then is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic. <laughs> of course um, it is. opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies? So I'm one, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. So I think it's important. Because of my line of questioning? Because so we can't talk about it? Because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist. I'm is denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking Are you? you if you're talking Are you? about women Are you? having pregnancies. Do you believe that uh, men can get pregnant? No, I don't think women can get <laughs> so pregnant. So you're denying that trans people exist? Thank and that leads to violence? Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you? Absolutely. Or are they also treated like this? Where no, you, no, no, they're, they're told that to they're a- opening up people to oh, violence? We have a good time in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Professor Bridges, you said several. Dude, the funny thing is, just look at this. <laughs> and they say he's schooled on transphobia. This professor, oh, look, go down, go down, go down. Let me read what it says. Let me read what it says. Let's read some of these. Go down. No, it said where he's schooled. The first one. No, go up. I'm mean, uh, The one you look, yeah. Senator Hawley schooled on transphobia. This professor 
had the perfect comeback to Senator Josh Hawley's transphobic line of questioning at a Senate hearing on abortion. See, just let's just deal with that right there, that first. The framing. That's how they posted it. The framing. Right? The framing The framing of it, yep. Well, I mean, let's just deal with that right off the bat, right? They said that, that, that she schools him, mm-hmm. right? I find it very odd, like, how you can watch this, like, the same thing and come up with two totally different... In what form did she school him? She said to him, right? And here's the thing. Once again, when he said, are we talking about women? Right off the bat, he said, when you talk about people with the capacity to get pregnant, are you talking about women? She said, well, some cis women, whatever. Some cis women can get pregnant. Some cis women cannot. Now, if I agree with the term cis women, meaning straight women, I think that's what it means. Um, then I'll agree with that. There are there are some women who cannot get pregnant. Then she said, then you have yeah, yeah, of course. Then obviously, she, said, obviously. Have, then she said you have trans men who can who can get pregnant. Once again, if you're looking at the wording that she's saying and you and you agree that there are trans men, which is a woman that transgendered into men and still kept her ovaries in a uterus and kept all that stuff, then yes, that person can get pregnant too. But the reason why is because that person is. A woman and if you're going to talk about non-binary then if you're going to accept the term non-binary which you know if you want to accept it you know us we always do argument and sake here let's say we accept the term non-binary you're not any any gender you identify as no gender but you can still get pregnant well the reason for that is is because you're a woman so in a sense where is the schooling in that you know what i'm saying because nowhere in there did she said men can get pregnant it's almost it's it's almost like it's almost like the argument that like I I identify as immortal, but I'm gonna die because I'm still a human. It, it, it's it's it, it's nowhere in what she said in the very beginning of that statement. I mean, that's just a long way of explaining. Yes, I'm talking about women. That's that's a long way of saying yes. I'm talking about women because well, every person she just named there is a woman. I mean, you can clearly see, bro. That Biologically like, speaking. Yeah. She's, she's you understand what I'm to... saying? And forget about her eyes. She got those school shooter eyes. Thank God she's here rambling this bullshit. Otherwise, she'd be fucking shooting up she's somebody. A, dude, she's a professor. Husband. She's a professor. You see, professor, Berkeley, anyone's bro. a professor nowadays, dude. Anyone's a fucking professor. You know, I don't know if the breakdown was when they started teaching Tupac in college. <laughs> you know, I don't know if that was the beginning of the end. No, I think, I, I think what it was is, you know, 50 years ago, they didn't have all these these loans backed by the feds for universities, you know, so not a lot of people went. But then when the feds started backing the loans, there's a lot more colleges, so a lot more people went. So there's a lot more shitty schools, is what I'm saying. Yeah, well, they're all over the place. But then she goes on to say, because all he did was question her. And that's the problem that, you know, everyone has with the fucking far left is if you question them right away, that's transphobic. All he did was ask a question that all she had to do was answer. And, he, and it wasn't really just it, it wasn't really charged either. It wasn't, wasn't, no, it wasn't, wasn't charged. Angry. It wasn't. I mean, even if he had ulterior motives, which I don't know what those are, I think it's just to come to an agreement of what we're talking about so that we understand each other. Um, she took Dude, a long you know, way. You know, what we need to do. We need to just start, start <laughs> posting these trans clips and then, and then hashtag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 Evadine, 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 you're messing up my pockets, Evadine. <laughs> you're messing up my monologue. Evadine, you're messing up what I was saying. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go. Go. Am I gonna have to get up, man? These dogs, man, I'm telling you, retarded. Ooh. Go lay down, please. Yes, I'm safe now. Thank you. Um she took the long way to answer the question, right? And really all she had to say was yes, we're talking about women. That's it, right? And that kind of goes back. To- but I, yo, bro, I do get it on some level though. Like I understand why this chick wants you know, these other people to feel included. Like, I get where she's coming from, but it's like, it's not, like, we got to draw the line somewhere but, with these but, kind no, of arguments, here's the thing. You, know? you know? No, but here's the thing. They are included. Because they're yeah. women. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. At the end you're of the right, day, right, right, you know, right. at the end of the right, day, yeah. biologically, I'm speaking, however you identify, if I can see it, you know, like if you look like a dude, I'm going to call you a dude. I don't, that doesn't bother me, man, at all, especially if you're a fucking adult and doing what you want to do. You know, my problems with kids. But at the end of the day, just dealing with what this lady did, she danced around it, you know, and then really all the examples she gave, yeah, and then all the examples she gave were women. At right. no point did she say a biological man can have a baby. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, the thing they, is, yes, we under, yes, yes, yes. They we understand. To acknowledge that side we understand because the question was, she said, do you think men can have babies? And he said, no, I don't think men can have babies. And why is he able to answer that just like that? Because we all know what a man is. Right. We all know what a man is. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. And well, she well, gave the examples and the example she gave. So then she goes on to say that what he said was transphobic. Of course, because that's what they always do. Like, I, I'm considered transphobic. It doesn't even matter that I love my trans people. And I'm talking real deal trans people. You know what I'm saying? When I mean real deal, I, don't, I mean the people that the trans community that don't agree with this, the ones they attack that are actually trans people. And, and they fucking, you know what I'm saying? But whatever, right? She goes on to say that that is opening violence toward them, right? And he says... Me asking the question is opening violence toward trans people, inviting violence to them. And she goes, I just want it to be known that one out of five trans people commit suicide. So it opens up violence for them to themselves. Because she, she followed up, it, 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 it opens up right. them to violence but then right. gave the example of suicide. Suicide, last I saw, is not someone doing violence to you. It's you doing violence to yourself. Right. So you're saying that by asking, if we ask them questions, they become violent to themselves? I would think that that's a mental issue too, no? Mm -hmm. Like if you asked me a question, if you said to me, yo, gee, why you always wear baseball caps? And I took a hammer and started hitting myself in the head with it just because of the just because of the question. You don't think there was a mental, you know, and then every time you ask me a question, yo, G, I'm leaving the house. You go, you got your keys? And I go, motherfucker. And I just start banging my fucking face against the stairs. I start fucking giving myself fucking those cur I start curbing myself. Isn't that like <laughs> that would be something wrong, don't you think? Like, don't you think we would have to check that out, man? Yeah, I think, I mean, you, you kind of hit a fair point. I mean, really what, you know, from a lot of the stuff I hear and these stats that this woman and other people have thrown out, like the trans community doesn't need approval from the government or for other people. They need help and counseling and shit because they're going through something fucking serious. You know, that, that's, that's what they need. They don't need this. Of course. And you if know? you're an adult. Or what do I know what they need? I mean, they don't have a cure for this, man. So like if you're an adult, you're, if you're the age of adult, and 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 you feel that transitioning so that you could appear the way you feel. I got no problem with that, man, at all, at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to, you know, you know, that's fine. No, why? Why is it though, bro? Why is it that we never see trans people saying any of this stuff? No, you do. One hundred percent, Blair White. What's Blair White is 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 a is a trans female, and she's not with all the hokey. No, 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 no. The ones with with the hokey dokey, you know, the hokey dokey. Uh, not against it, with well, it. Well, I don't ever see it, dude. I don't. Well, you don't see real people who have transitioned with that that's shit. What, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah the I'm ones saying. who you see are the ones who like you know that's like me coming on here, you know, and look. I mean, officially, I'm part of the trans community, officially, because I, I, I identify as a llama. So officially, I am now part of trans. So anyone who thinks that I'm talking hate shit, I mean, booey on you, man. I identify as a llama, man. You, want, you know, you don't accept me. I accept myself. I don't, you don't have to accept me. See, to my people, I just want to say we got to get thicker skin. This thin skin we have doesn't look good on me. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't look what good to me. I don't get upset if they misgender me. They can't tell I'm a llama when they first look at me. You know? I can't get upset. Hmm. Sorry. What, what, what happened? You got lost over there. Yeah, so. I was just, I was looking into, I was trying to look into Blair White, but I got like a football player. I don't think that's, 
It's the same Blair White, is it? No. He's not a football not. player. No, you go to YouTube and you put a yeah, Russian yeah, yeah, right yeah, up. Yeah, 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 I got her. I got her. Yep. Yeah, nah, she's fucking, she's the shit, man. I watch her all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? And she ain't going for the hokey doke. You know, and, and and there's a couple. There's a trans dude. Um, I can't remember his name, but uh, he also ain't going for the hokey doke, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just, uh, you know, foolishness, whatever. She couldn't answer it, you know. Couldn't answer it. And, and, and they say that he, she schooled him. She schooled him in what fucking way? Well, I mean, man, this is, uh, we talk about this a lot. Like, you know, the reality and the truth is, is really whatever you make up in your head. Man. You know, someone left a comment the other day that, um, <laughs> and you, you never saw the movie Idiocracy, right? I did not, no. Yeah, someone left a comment the other day um, on that. And uh, he was saying it's almost like the movie Idiocracy. And, and big up to you, my brother. I'm Actually, what was his name, man? Um, big up to you, because the honest truth is I was thinking the same thing. I was like, this is like that movie Idiocracy where the people who actually had wisdom were shunned and all the idiots ran the world. This is what happens when you let the grandfather watch the kids, man. He lets them do whatever they want to do, you know? He lets them do whatever they want to do. And that's what's going on now, man. Which is fun for a weekend, right? A weekend, maybe a long weekend, yeah, maybe like a, yeah, like a Friday man. to Monday, you know, like a long Columbus Day weekend. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, hey, listen, every now and then the big every now and then the grown-ups got to take a little vacation. But this is what happens when you let the grandfather, who's very, very obviously senile, watch the children. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna let them do whatever they want to do. You know, I heard something the I heard something the other day. I heard something the other day that like something about like, and, and once again, you'd have to check this, but that Biden's cabinet, not the cap, this is the cabinet. The people that work with him. His dresser. What happened? Dresser. His dresser. <laughs> it's dresser. But something that the average, the average years of experience between them is like 2.4 years of experience. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was the cabinet or it was a certain group of people that are working on something. Look that up, man. Let's see if that is. It's like 2.4 years, the average you know, years of, of um, experience. He had like two people that had like 10 years, maybe seven to 10 years. Mm -hmm. But like everybody else has like two years, two and a half years. He has a whole cabinet of motherfucking people that don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're learning as they go right now. Oh, uh, this is the, this is the, biz the business. Oh, in the business. That's right. In the business. That's why, because they were talking about the whole of, uh, you know, the whole yeah. reason why the prices are up and our whole fucking economy is going to shit. That's yeah. what it was, the business. Yeah, I knew I was off. Yeah. It's the business. So when you look at the people that are involved in making his business decisions, the average fucking experience is 2.4 years between them. The average. I mean, that's insanity. That's like <laughs> two, two and a half years. I'll even give him the, the benefit of two and a half years. Two and a half years as a comedian, you're still an open micer. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> that's funny. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Two and a half years of experience as a comedian, you're probably still considered an open micer. Unless you're really good. I mean, two and a half, two and a half years of anything, you're pretty much still new, you know? You got to be in at least five before people start, start taking you seriously doing anything, you know? So is anybody worried about the economy? <laughs> Dude, I mean, want? it's, you know, the consumer price index came out and it's at uh, 9.1%. Yeah, we looked at that last, last episode. We looked inflation, at which is, it's probably much higher. There's some, a lot of other weird things. Dude, going I'm, on I'm, in, in I'm living politics. right now. I'm living right now off of fucking, uh, off of fucking cold cuts. I make sandwiches all day. And even that's pretty expensive. And every yeah. now and then I get some steaks. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, some you, rice. You, I eat a lot of eat, rice. You gotta eat, you gotta eat the Italian diet, bro. Pastas, you know? cheese. Yeah, we've been, we've been eating a lot of pasta. Yeah, man. You can eat good on that. You can feel good yeah. about eating good on that though. You know, but I haven't just, been able to really do no groceries. You know what I'm saying? It's like I never have enough money to go buy like a bunch of shit. Because every time I go there, I buy some stuff, it's like three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. I'm like, what the fuck, man. And where are you shopping at? Where are you going? <sighs> 
You come Akron. to Akron. See, that's your problem, bro. You got to go to Shoprite. You can't Where's go that? To but now, point. does does it does it save gas? It's not. Well, am I paying in gas? What you know what I'm saying? Like these are decisions we are left having to make now. Do I do I travel further to get cheaper food? But now I'm spending more money in gas. How much gas? Now I got to sit there and I got to be a fucking uh like a mathematician to be able to break this shit down to one the like you know the, the ratio of gas to food. You know what I'm saying? Like this is really where we've come to. I go there because it's one two. It doesn't even use any gas. Well now. Now listen here. This is what you know. I'm always a big proponent of this uh, and this and this philosophy. Uh, recently, the president of Sri Lanka just fucking stepped down. Basically, just dipped out because the economy was so fucked. The country is in turmoil. Boris Johnson is about to roll out. The prime minister of Italy rolling fucking out. This uh, this kind of shit happens, man. You know, um, our economy was good. And it's it's not anymore. So buckle up, America, because it's going to get a lot fucking worse. I like to know that we can give hope to the people out there <laughs> that listen to us. Yo, you know, this show we you come here like for to, the, you come here for the, the truth and some falses, some sort of versions of the truth. You know what I realized the other day when you go on YouTube to watch our shit, it doesn't just come up. It says this has been tagged as offensive or whatever and before you can go forward man what the fuck i'm offensive well no because the one video we showed of that stabbing we, we showed a couple of videos of people dying in the last few episodes that's that's Have why we? yeah remember it <laughs> i remember it? the dude behind the bodega yeah and but there's the only one now there's something else in the other one where we watched somebody get killed or something like that. No, he didn't. Yeah, yeah. There was no some, way. Yeah, there was something. Peter G does not condone snuff films, man. <laughs> All right. No way. Did we really? Oh, was it the cops shooting up that dude 60 times? And he hit the floor quick. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. I guess we do watch some people get killed. I hear it was just, yeah. just just for our viewers so they can so they can see. Copyright claim, age restriction, copyright claim, copyright claim, copyright claim, copyright claim. Oh, that's what they that's that's the restrictions on there? Yeah, we we have a restriction on every episode that we have on the We're never on, gonna on get YouTube. monetized, yo. <laughs> not on YouTube, and at least not that way. Like, we have to we have to get sponsors, is what we need. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Check us out on Spotify. <laughs> Shout out free speech. Shout out free speech. <laughs> Hashtag free speech. You know? And you know what, man? If you want to support us, man, check out our fucking merch, right? We got merch. Where can they get our yeah. merch? Only, only in soul.com. And, only in uh, soul.com. You yeah. can get the rated G merch, man. Get yeah. the t-shirts, right? Can they get the mugs? Yeah, they can get the mugs. We're, we're, I'm, I, I was saying before, I haven't done it yet, but we're going to be moving a bunch of the, uh, the merch and everything around. We're going to try to get it house. So, but yeah, only in soul. Uh -huh. Only in soul, man. If you want to yeah. support us, man, go over there, buy some of the merch and shit. You know, um, you know, if if Brian was, you know what it is, Brian has become very relaxed, has become a full partner in this, that he no longer gets on the ball. Because if he was back in the day, like feeling more like a producer, um, and it's my fault. I made him feel, you know, this is what happens when you let your wives make the decisions. Um, he would have had, you know, he would have had it up. And you would have been able to see some of the merch that we were talking about, which might have made it a little more tantalizing to you to actually go and pick up the merch. But you don't even know what it looks like. Now you got to go and look what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, it's all right. I'm not mad at him. You know, you can't you can't get mad over things like this. You know, there you go. There's the merch. Pick up a mug. We got the hoodies. We got the tees. Was that so hard, Brian? And all you got to do is go in only only in Seoul. Look how good he looks, man. I think we need prettier yeah. models. You got to see. You got to see the description. This T-shirt is everything you dream of and more. It feels and soft. More. It feels soft like Mama Cat and lightweight like Brian, with the right amount of stretch, just like Gary's BAC. It's comfortable and flattering for all. What is BAC? Your blood alcohol content. <laughs> People, if you don't buy it from the description alone. And we're going to get some more content up there. We're going to get some get the fuck out of here t-shirts. We're yeah. going to get some I'm not buying it. Yeah. If you want to represent, 
and you want to you want to support the cause, we're gonna get some I'm not buying it t-shirts to let the people out there know that when they look at you, they better come correct because you're not buying it. You're not buying none of the bullshit. <laughs> so just you know, vi visit only in Seoul. Check out our merch, man. Support the cause. I love the way I just slipped that in there. I thought that was a good. Oh, look at the the mugs are beautiful. I actually got to get one. My it's got goodness. my quote on the back. My ignorance is what makes me adorable. And it says, uh, it's our favorite Gary G. Garcia quote. My ignorance is what makes me adorable. Whether you're drinking your morning espresso, having a fancy 40 ounce or something in between, this mug is perfect for listening to Rated G. It's sturdy and glossy with a vivid print that will withstand <laughs> the microwave and dishwasher. Yeah, man. And ladies, you could probably chuck it at your man's head. <laughs> and if you hit his head, it probably won't even break, dog. It's some good mug. If it hits the floor first, it might break. But if it hits his head, you're pretty good. You can yeah. still drink from it the next day. You know. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, sorry. I was watching this thing on. Um, I'm surprised I even got into this, man. Because I know one of the big things they're going to run on, too, is going to be about, like, the, you know, the fucking uh air and weather and all that mm -hmm. bullshit uh i was watching this thing about carbon footprint okay i saw two things actually i saw this one thing that uh it was at one of those events it was a democratic event but it wasn't like an actual event it's like just where they go basically secret society shit where they go and they just you know they 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 uh the guy as the guy put it uh they have um conversations and make connections. Uh, the way I would put it is conspire. And uh, one of the dudes came out and he was talking about how they're developing a thing that will track your carbon footprint. It'll, it'll keep track of, it'll keep track of how you travel, where you travel, how long you travel, what you eat, the, the you know, the stuff that you buy, how much you use your microwave, how much you use, it'll just keep track of all that shit. You know, they said they haven't developed it yet, but they're working on that. Mm -hmm. So I looked at carbon footprint. And to me, that's just a way to track uh, everything you do, everything you use. Well, this goes and to the social again, credit score, my guy. You know? And once again, oh, you know who I forgot to show some stuff to? That I, We got to go back, man. I got to show one more. I knew I had one more person to, to show some love to. Come on, girl. I have one more person to show some love to. There's also, uh, uh, there's Brian the Video Guy t-shirts out on another site too. So we should plug those real quick too. That uh, my boy John made. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that. So, Brian. Uh, it's got uh, Mr. Boots right here and the uh, the red eye for uh, for editing right here. Uh, all here. right. So that's the symbolicism behind it. I thought, yeah. I thought you joined a cult. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, we make propaganda films. And I mean, yeah, I mean, true. comedy clips. That's true. So uh, the last person that I can't forget, I cannot forget him, is because uh, he's been on our show a bunch of times. This is from our boy Mo. Oh. He sends me a bunch of stuff all the time. And uh, he couldn't be on the show. I was trying to get him for today. But since he can't get on the show, you know, Let's uh let's put some of the stuff that you know I was hoping to talk to him about, but you know, we'll discuss some of the stuff he sends me. You know. Focusing our attention on our young people and guaranteeing them all a quality education, which includes comprehensive, queer inclusive, pleasure-based sexual health curriculum. What are we discussing with these children? We will be talking in an age appropriate and safe space with our young people about masturbation. We'll be talking about all the different ways um, that they can protect themselves from um, when, if they choose and when they choose to have um, a sexual relationship with a partner, whether or not that is anal sex um, or um, penetrative sex or oral sex. Who decides what's appropriate? Um, parents decide what's appropriate. Against four, parents overwhelmingly do not agree that this legislation is appropriate. Focusing our attention. Yeah. yeah, this is this is the this is the twerking. Uh, no, is it? Is that the twerking? Uh, yeah, the yeah, twerking? yeah, yeah, that's her. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's her. Ah, uh, there you that's go. Her. And somehow yeah, the twerking Jonah. video yeah. makes sense now. Yeah. Yep. And what is she exactly? 
some sort of senator? Yeah, she's a Rhode Island state senator. Rhode so, Island. Yeah. What the fuck? This is the person you got. This is an elected official twerking, which you were like, why is she twerking? You see this and you go, is anyone surprised that she's twerking to get votes? Is anyone surprised? Is that also the same chick that that we looked at when she said, go get those drug dealers to get money? Is that the same chick or that's a different? Nah, oh, that, right, was, a different that chick. was that was that um... was that was another chick. All right. All right, just double checking. Just double checking. Uh, I thought I was connecting dots. I thought I was connecting hold on, dots. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's just. I'll just. I'll, I'll double check that. But but go on. I'll I'll, I'll double check that. But if, even if it isn't, I'm just sitting here going. You know, really, like, do you really want schools teaching your children anal? That's what you want them talking about when they go to school. Anal. You want all these children whose hormones because they're probably going to do what you know they say age appropriate with. At me because you know during the during the pride parade they had Christina Aguilera with a strap on at a family friendly fucking concert. So who knows what age appropriate is now? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess it would probably start at the age where it's holding hold. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's like, what are you talking about, man? What the fuck are you talking about? Since when? I mean, listen, I'm all for sex education in the sense of this is what males have. This is what females have uh, explaining to them what puberty is and mm -hmm. and, you know, shit that they might go through. You know what I'm saying? But now you're going, you know, a little too far over here where you're talking about we're going to teach them how to have anal sex, you know, safe and properly. And what? How do you plan to do that? Are you going to bring up one of those rubber? Are you going to bring up one of those rubber butts? You know, and some anal beads and some vibrators and just start lubing it up in candles. front of the students. Some candles to turn, turn the lights down. Popping and anal beads in there. And be like, and be like, you want to put them in slow. You want to put them in slow first. Okay, slow. Let it pop. And then insert the next one. Slow. Slow. You know, sometimes you've done you that work before. It, Sometimes you want to work it in and out the rim right there just to loosen up the sphincter. Who can spell sphincter? But they won't know how to write it in cursive because they don't learn that anymore. Nah, they won't even know how to spell sphincter. You know what I'm saying? They won't even know how to, they'll show them how to relax it, but they won't teach them how to spell it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Uh, people, you know, this is why um, homeschooling is not such a bad option. You know what I'm saying? Homeschooling is really not such used, a bad option. I used to not feel that way, man. The older I get, the more and more I feel like that. Well, I mean, when you look at, I've always felt that, um, uh, I always felt that, um, School wasn't for me. You know, I felt like it was a thing of just just being pumped up to follow. I always felt that way. You know, I, I was always rebelling against it in the sense of rebelling just to be who I am, man. And, uh, you know, not needing a, not needing a, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not needing to be called something. I don't need a identification of like, that's not the right word, but you know what I mean? Label. I didn't need to be, I didn't need a label. Right. You know, if you want to label me and ask me who I am, me. That's who I am. Who do I identify as? Right. Me. That's who I identify as, me. If you ask me who I am, I'm me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I didn't need anyone to label that at all. Still don't, you know? And and I just didn't follow, like, I felt like something was off and all that shit, you know? I mean, I guess, I guess it's hard to get into something when, when, if you, if they label you talk too talkative, you know, they tell you the only job you're going to get is being like fucking in McDonald's all your life. That doesn't necessarily inspire you. Right. You know? So I, uh, I sent you another one. We'll do one more from Mo. And then we'll move on from these. But I want to, I want to share the stuff that Mo sends me because uh, they always send me interesting stuff. That's why we love having him on the show because he always sends. Big up to you, Mo. 
you know. Um, you got that one? No, I didn't get it. You didn't get it. Uh -uh. The internet's running kind of slow though, but I mean, we are we're, we are also on a video call. I'll send it again. Let's see if it gets to you. Maybe they don't want us to hit. Maybe they don't want us to play what has to be said. This one's more of a conspiracy theory type thing. Um, and big up to our listeners for sending those in. I appreciate them. Let's check the last one out. At 623, a British company has an idea that would let you ditch your wallet or purse and still be able to pay for things. Hmm. But as you can imagine, not everyone's on board with this one. And here's why. They're selling microchips to implant under your skin. The company Wallet More says the $300 chip is the size of a grain of rice. You'd most likely have it implanted in your hand. And once it's activated, you can use it at a checkout by just swiping your hand over the card reader. So I would love this because I never know where my debit card is. Yeah. Oh. Their wallet. So if I could put yeah. it right in my hand, I'd be happy about it. Oh, man, I'm surprised with that. Oh, but hey, more sunrise ahead of 630. Thousands already have microchip Oof. implants that they use in their daily lives. Waving their hand to gain entrance to the gym, confirm their ID or make payments. Ooh. Okay, watch this. This event is an implant part. <coughs> All right. Now, can we go to Revelation 13, 16? Let's see what that says. Let's see what Revelation 13, 16 says. Because you could always sit there and go, the shit was spoken, and the shit was this, the shit was that. But, you know, listen, you make your own decisions on what you believe and what you think. If it matters, if it doesn't. But uh, let's go to that. Let's see what it says, because that's the one they referred to, right? It said 13, 16. Here you go. Read it aloud right. for, the, for our uh, right. people listening in. It says, the second beast was permitted to give breath to the image of the first beast so that the image could speak and cause all who refused to worship it to be killed. And the second beast required all people, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their forehead so that no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark, the name of the beast or the number of its name. Okay, now, just to explain <laughs> what basically that said was, you know, that there was a thing of a mark of a beast, the mark of the beast, which was implanted in the hand and you weren't able to buy, sell, right? That's what it says. Right. Which means you weren't able to move freely. You wasn't able to buy or sell. And even they were able to to kill you if you refused the mark of the beast. There's a I think if you go further and you go. But do they, do they even have more of that? Because I think if you even go further, it mentions it being the size of a grain of rice. Yeah. 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 Hold, hold you know on. what I'm let's, saying? Yeah, let's let, let's let's read the whole thing. So the, the beast from the earth, you know, we, we, we can start yeah. here, I guess. You want, to, you want to read this top part? I can read it yeah, aloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the, I, good. You then, read I, it, then I saw the beast rising out of the earth. This beast had two horns like a lamb, but spoke like a dragon. And this beast exercised all the authority of the first beast and caused the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast whose mortal wound had been healed. And the second beast performed great signs to cause even fire from heaven to come down to the earth in the presence of the people. Because of the signs it was given to perform on behalf of the the first beast, it deceived those who dwell on earth, telling them to make an image of the beast that had been wounded by the sword and yet had lived. The second beast was permitted to give breath to the image of the first beast so that the image uh, could cause all who refused to worship it to be killed. And then here was that line, right? The yeah. second beast required all people, small and great, rich, poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on, the, on their right hand or on their forehead so that no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark. The name okay. of the beast or the number of its name. Here is a call for wisdom. Let the one who has insight calculate the number of the beast, for it is a number of man, and that number is 666. Yeah. <coughs> I could be wrong, but I also remember reading somewhere that it talks about uh, 
it being the size of a grain of rice, but I could be wrong on that one. But either way, I mean, that's that's right up there telling you that, you know, and back then you're sitting there going, what are they talking about? And now you see it. What's the mark of the beast? The mark of the beast is that fucking chip they want to put in your fucking hand because that's going to say what the lady said. I lose my wallet. I always lose my wallet. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to sound like something great. You know, and and here's another thing, man, that you could just look at from here if you want to see if shit's connecting. Supposedly what it says is the first beast uh, healed from the sword. Right. So the things to look at, I would guess, is to see if someone gets assassinated, they attempt to assassinate somebody and he he heals from those wounds. Right. That would be the first sign. Someone is attempt. That's basically what it says, right? Like it says, the first beast who healed from the wounds. I mean, you got to go deeper, read for yourself, do your own research. But you know that person heals, and then the second beast is the one who. Now they use the term beast. You know, well, what's a beast? A beast is fucking. You know, it could be any evil person. And if you look at some of these people, especially like on the on the far left, man, it's just that's what I said. Like in one of our podcasts before, it's come to a point where it's just good versus evil people you know you're up against like beast that's what you're up against you know what i'm saying straight up beast people who are determined to to kill babies people who are determined to uh uh you know torture and 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 and, and uh sleep with little young people you know constantly trying to lower the fucking thing, trying to get us to look at it as a sexual preference, changing the name to maps so that now they're minor attracted people and don't be so hard on them, you know? Dude, the implants freak me the fuck out. Dude, I mean, I mean, there's, there's like they said, there's people already that are planted because you got to understand something. It, 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 if you don't know that shit, like if you never read that stuff where this is written many, 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 many years ago, right? And and yet they're saying there's going to come a time where you're going to get the mark of the beast. Now, back then, of course, you didn't really realize what it was. But, you know, there's other there's other things where they say in the forehead or the hand and they go on to talk about it being the size of a grain of rice. There's other parts. I'm not really that great on knowing the parts, but I've read it. And. And then you see this shit like happening and it happens very slow because a lot of people don't even know about this shit already. A lot of people don't even know about well, this yeah, shit. Before and you even get to the consumers, it's already been in production with the military. Yeah. And, 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 and it's already 20 years been, prior. Well, yeah, the military has been doing it to their, to their, to their veterans or whatever, their, their military. And then you got parents who chip their children in case they get kidnapped. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like they got some gyms, they got businesses. You know, I saw a thing the other day with a dude in order to get into the refrigerator has to swipe his hand. Then he's able to get into the refrigerator, um, you know, at his job. It's it's a. Uh, look, I mean, I mean, you could sit there and say whatever people are bugging. But if you read that whole thing, even the stuff it talks to, it talks about even up to that point. It's all the stuff that's been going on right now, the plagues and shit like that. You know, what's a, you know, what's a, what's a pandemic? Is it not another word for plague? You know what I'm saying? Yes, Can we yes, say that? that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It talks about plagues coming, you know, and shit like that. So, you know, whether you believe it, they're reading from that playbook. That's the playbook that they're drawing from. You know, I, I happen to have some belief. And, and, you know, Brian doesn't. And this is living proof that we could all get along. What do you mean? You don't think I believe that? Well, you said that you don't really believe in the Bible. Am I correct in that? Um, I said I don't believe in God. and I don't know about the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sound like a liberal right now. <laughs> I don't know if those things... I said things I don't believe in God. I didn't are... say I don't believe in the Bible. <laughs> Well, dude, I don't, I don't know, man, because like I, it's I, all right to say you don't know. Now, now listen, now listen. Let me, let me just. These are the things that I've always been interested in, right? History, especially ancient history, far, far ancient history. Always billions been, of years, billions and billions of years. But al- always been into. The, I mean, believing in the Bible is just as ridiculous as believing in dinosaurs, dude. It really is. Both of them are I mean, just both. I would agree. 
both I would, on on face value, I would agree. Yeah, sure. Yeah, on face value. On yeah. face value. That's I all we agree. ever take anything on face value. Not here, me. Bro. I'm not taking the Bible at face value, dog. So you got to understand something, man. For me personally, and that's why I say there's certain things people can't move me from. But for me personally, I came I to did. get into yeah, the experience. I came to get into a relationship with God all on my own. <laughs> and the stuff that was going on in my head was the stuff that came out of that book. That's all I can say for sure. Now we can talk. You know nothing. Uh, you know nothing of my personal experience with dinosaurs. In that, but that's what I'm saying. No dinosaurs ever brought me into See? a revelation. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Like, in other words, there's certain things like, like we could argue which God is the God or whatever, whatever. I'm just saying that the God that spoke to me, and I can only say it was God because, because nothing else could do that shit and change me the way I had been changed. You know, and and the truth of the matter is, it's 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 uh, my slowing down of change isn't because God slowed down working in my life. It's because this world is a hard place to move in, um, you know, when you have the belief that I have. So just like any other relationship, when I first came to know him, I was, you know, shit was changing so quick in my life, you know, that I was on fire, wanted everybody to know my new person in my relationship you know what I'm saying but as that relationship started to uh started to bring um you know outside judgment and this and that then just like anything it kind of you know he didn't stray I strayed so it was like you know I started kind of getting absorbed once again into the things of these world and I took my eyes off my relationship mm -hmm. and that's why now I've slowed down in my growth you know what I'm saying but but when I was focused and I was in that relationship and it was loving and I was in love, I was I was flourishing, man. It changed my whole life so much so that a lot of things still remain. And, and, and you know, the God that I know is still there for me, still, you know, it's just it's just that, you know, you're always as close to God as you want to be. Mm -hmm. And it's OK. Like you said, like, I don't know. It's fine to say I don't know. It's better to say I don't know than I don't believe. I don't know, says I don't know. Convince me. Convince me. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Show me. I don't know. And the only one could do that is God. No person can, no person can, can uh, debate a person into believing. That'll never happen. No, it's really, it's really, you know what I'm saying? You really can't. And on anything. No, on right. anything. All, all yeah. a person can do is plant seeds. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you say what you say, you leave a seed, and then somewhere that seed grows in that person's heart through experience where they go back to go, oh, wait a minute, this is what's going on. You know, and all I could say is I had nobody to give me that. Um, and all I know is that I thought I thought I was going insane. So, you know, I know that there's things in there. Now, now we could debate. Is it is it uh, does it you know, are the things literal or are they symbolic? That can be debated. And to be honest, I don't I don't really know where I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been convinced either way. Yeah, it's because you know I'm not. It's you know kind of hard saying? to believe like, any a, a, book you read, you know? Yeah, but see, here's the thing, man. If you're dealing with the nature of God, right? And, and once again, it's a thing of faith. But like I said, I can only go by what was inside me, dog. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's not something I was reading books about. It was something that right, led right, me to right, books. Right, and then right, I said, right. oh, shit, that's what was going on in my head. I'm no fucking, I can't predict shit. You know what I'm saying? So, Nostradamus over here. I'm not Nostradamus, Nostradamus. <laughs> um, but I know what I know. That's all. And on that, like we could we could debate the, you know, the things of what meanings is this and what meanings is that. And mm -hmm. I think our minds are supposed to, you know, I think we're supposed to. It, it says yeah, question everything. Yeah. It says question everything. The people you have to worry about are the ones that only read that Bible and study that Bible and, and they don't look at what's going on in the world around them to be able to put that into application into what's going on in the world around them. Mm -hmm. You know, things change as word doesn't, but the applications of those words do because you could read one line one day and it, it applies to your life in some certain way. And then two years later, you're going through something else and come back to that same one line and it applies to what you're going through now, which is totally different before. So the words didn't change. The words didn't change. The application of it did. Mm -hmm. You know how you have yeah. to use it. You know, or, or better yet, what what it's telling you. You know, yeah, yeah. or the reality. That's another of the reason why I know that. that. You know, it's a living, breathing word, and you can only know that if God chose it to you. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because because I, I hey, 
hey, hey, hey, hey, hey, hey, hey. The devil's banging hammers in my hallway. <laughs> hey, come here. Hey, peace be on to you. <laughs> Look at that. Peace be on to you. You know, um, works. Peace be on to you. Go lay down, beautiful. The power of Zen. You know, um, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I can't claim to know everything, dude. I'm a very ignorant Ooh. dude in a lot of ways. Right. Know? Unfortunately, the only wisdom that I have is because I fucked up and I learned from those mistakes. So God bless those mistakes. But, you know, I, I never claim nor do I to know anything or to know it all because I don't. You know, so you won't hear that come out of my mouth. But I would say that that chip, if anybody doesn't even if that doesn't even make you want to question. OK, well, let's see, you know, let me find out for myself, you know, what the fuck that is. If that doesn't make you want to question it, then man, what well one to you because you will be writing that line, click, 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 click. And it's all testing. You know what I'm saying? They started it with the vaccinations to see how far they could go. That's what that is. That's a test. You know what I'm saying? It's like when someone um is about to rob a bank and they go in and they scope it out first. They're trying to see how far they can push. Right. So they get the pushback. You know, and what they're trying to do is get to a number that they can push and there's not enough numbers to push back. And then they can just force that upon everybody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people were doing it even with the vaccination, you know, and I'm not even saying whether it works, doesn't work. Well, I don't have to say that because <laughs> the proof is in the pudding, you know, <laughs> that it doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? I know I said pudding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but everybody was like, they lined up, the flock lined up. And all the people who were like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. They got forced into it. You know what I'm saying? And all the rebels were like, nah, fuck it. Let's see, let's see what this plays out. They're never going to put a chip in me, dog. Sorry. What about a they're potato? They're never going to never gonna put a chip in me. Not unless they hold me down, put it to my neck, and click it. What if you already got one when you were born? Um, it's very interesting. Now you're going to have to make me go get a whole scan of my body. You know, they could they could have been putting them in at birth for 100 years, you know? I mean, you got to think about when they're going to fully do it at birth, right? Because that is going to come up. Like, we have the social security card. Like, that's going to be gone at some point. It's just going to be a chip. Oh, he sent me something about social security cards, too. Who, Mo? Put it up. I want to see it. <laughs> he sends me a lot of stuff, man, a lot of stuff. And that's why I like to get him on the, I like to get him on the cast because, because, uh, you know, he knows more about this stuff than I do. And, uh, you know, I learn as I go, you know, I don't have the time I used to when I worked, <laughs> when I worked, I used to go deep, yo, I'd be working and I put my shit to the side and just start looking shit up and doing a lot of my own research. Nowadays, I'm not going to lie. I just look at the things people send me and I'll do a little bit of research, but not like not, I used to. I used to be more thorough. Not much, not much research. Nah. I used to be much more thorough, <laughs> you know. This is the last thing he sent me. America is literally a prison, and I just found this out. So I was having a conversation the other day at work. They started from the beginning. And someone told me that if. Good. America is literally a prison, and I just found this out. So I was having a conversation the other day at work. And someone told me that if you move out of the country on a visa, you still have to pay American taxes. You have to pay income taxes. And I wouldn't put it past America to do something like that. But I had to look into it myself. And this is what I found. And it gets even scarier than that. And you can look this up yourself. The U.S. has citizen-based taxation, meaning citizens are taxed regardless of where they live in the world and where they earn their income. So why don't you just revoke your U.S. citizenship, you ask? Let me tell you. Because you have to so pay all your debt back. In 2016, the U.S. had a spike in people renouncing their U.S. citizenship because of the increase in numbers of U.S. citizens seeking. We're just going to pause here for Gary while he handles his uh, 
is, is pooch over there. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, uh, she's about to get into it right here. Yeah. I've, I've, uh, I've, I've, I've heard of this before, bro. Yeah. You can Hold on, I can't hear you. Go ahead. What are you saying? Yeah. I've heard it. I've heard of this before here. I'll go back a couple seconds. Just so so here. Hey, peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. Peace had a spider. Hey, 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 Everdeen, listen to my, Everdeen, listen to my peaceful voice. Is it not tranquil enough for you? Oh, my God. I got someone right out my door. Hold on. Hey, well, so this happens from time to time. You know, Everdeen is, uh, is the dog, and he's you know, she is protecting the house. And uh, what are you saying? You know, uh, I've, I've let's, let's just we'll get back into the clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Sorry about that. Hey, Everdeen, 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 too much, baby. Everdeen, too much, mama. Peace be on to you. Come on, get in the, get in the, get in the. This dog is killing Welcome me. Welcome your U.S. citizenship, you ask. Let me tell yeah. you. So in 2016, the U.S. had a spike in people renouncing their U.S. citizenship. Because of the increase in numbers of U.S. citizens seeking renunciation, the U.S. Department of State raised the fee for renunciation from $450 to $2,350, around five times the average cost of other high-income countries like the U.K. So that's what you have to pay worse. to get out. If you decide to leave, you have to pay something called an exit tax. If you have a net worth of $2 million, the exit tax will apply to you on all of your assets, including your home. The exit tax will also apply to you even if your net worth is below $2 million if you have not complied with your U.S. tax obligations for the last five years. It will not apply to certain individuals who are dual citizens at birth. And if you are a long-term resident on a green card, you are basically a prisoner. You can't leave because you're not going to be afford you're able to afford the exit tax. And I can't find the screenshot that I took earlier of how much that actually costs. It is 30% of everything that you own, including your house. And once you do this, you can never get your American citizenship again. They're like really salty and they're like, no, if you want to leave, you can literally never come back. And if that. What was the last thing she was going to say? I don't know, dude. She was losing me at the end. <laughs> Cost from 450 to 2,350 doesn't tell you that they are scared of us leaving because we are their only source of power, then I don't know how else to show you. America is literally a prison. All right. Uh, she's I right. Didn't yeah, I didn't she, know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I knew pretty much all of that. I didn't know they, they increased the fee. But yeah, I mean, but when you also think about it, when you're leaving the U.S., right, not, not giving the country any, any credit, but like, of course you can't get your citizenship back. If you renounce your citizenship, you're saying, I don't want to be a member of this country anymore. So like, okay, you're out, dog. You know, it's a one-time fucking move, you know? And if you're going to do that, it needs to be a one-time decision. You know, it's not like, but it's not something you, you think, take, take but you think they should be able to tax you again? Of course On not. all your shit when no. you're paying taxes on all that shit? No. When you were here? Of course not. But the thing that this girl doesn't understand that if you have those means, right? If you have those means and that money, and you're getting out, you're not going to let them take your money like that because people move money, move property and, and do all that shit. Ain't, ain't nobody actually getting on the hook for that, for that shit. You know, my thing is, why wouldn't you sell your house first and then throw that money into a fucking Swiss account or some shit or crypto, bro? You can put it in crypto and transfer it out and you get cash in, in seconds in another country, you know? You can, you can move mad. I don't trust around. that crypto shit, dude, because that's how they caught that dude. He put it into crypto, went to cash it out. But then again, he also he also like got on the trade shit real quick. Yeah. So you, I don't know. You, you, you can do it. But yes, it is. It is. I mean, what do you I expect, bro? The American government's always going to get their cut, dog. And if they're going to leave, they're going to get their last cut. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised by that. Yeah. You know. I can't say I'm surprised by that, but you know, it is fucked up. It is fucked up, I think. You don't think it's fucked up? I do, yeah. No, no, no. I think it's fucked up. But I mean, you know, what do you what do you expect from the feds? You know, I don't think they're any any better. And, and that's the thing about the American government, bro. I don't think the American government is any better or worse than any other country's government. They're that all is my question. So so 
Well, basically, if you decide to get like dual citizenship, like you decide mm-hmm. to move to another country, but you don't renounce being American, that would be dual citizenship, right? Yeah, but you also have to find okay. a country that's that's willing to get to give that to you, which they're not going to unless you get a really, really good reason. Well, let's say you get married mm-hmm. to someone who's a citizen out there. Right. Right. So you're married now and then you get your citizenship eventually out there, right? Mm-hmm. So is is what they're saying that if you're working out there, you're still gonna pay taxes to wow. See, now that's see, but that's fucked up. Is it fucked up? I mean, like if you work in New York. That is if live in you Jersey. report it, dog. Well, yeah, I'll ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you work in New York and you live in New Jersey, you're still paying New Jersey income tax? hmm Same thing in New York. If you work in Jersey and you're making money in Jersey, I know you still got to pay some taxes, but you still have to pay income taxes? Yeah, and your check, yeah. You'll, you'll, get, you'll, get, you'll get shit taken out for that, yeah. For sure. From both Wait. states. No, I don't think I, I wouldn't think you would get it from both states because what's New York going to tax you on? Because the tax comes out of your paycheck, you know. It comes the taxes come out of the state you get paid in, you know, or or, or, or better yet, the, the way the taxes work is the state in which the work is is done in, you know. I'm a little confused by that, but okay. Because I thought I thought if you worked like in I thought if you lived in New Jersey and worked in New York, or better yet the other way around, if you worked in New York, I mean if you lived in New York and worked in Jersey, right, you get taxed on your income in Jersey, mm-hmm. right? I thought you had to pay taxes as well in New York. Um, yeah, I mean I guess you would, right? Because you would have to pay into. I don't. Know. That's why I don't cheat on my taxes. I don't know how those things work. Yeah, I don't know, bro. And I don't even know what to look up, dude. It's too late in the episode. Yeah. You look at tax, yeah, tax yeah. questions. So. See, that's what happens. He's, he's taking shit easy now, man. Back in the day, it would have already been up. But you know what, man? Listen, we can't all be on our best. You know, today I might have been a little more on my best than he was. I woke up feeling good. I did some exercising. I haven't exercised in a long time. Um, did you have to go get a pack of cigarettes? You walk down the block? I was smoking back. a cigarette in between sets. <laughs> And and I was smoking a little bit of bud, you know, from where from only the best fucking weed store in the story of Apollo Bud located on Crescent Street and Queens Boulevard um, in Astoria Boulevard, rather, excuse me, Astoria Boulevard and Crescent Street, man. Go check them out. They got their the homegrown stuff out here, just that you only get in the story. Of, and they got, you know, Jungle Boys, edibles, all kinds of shit. Check out Apollo Buds, man. You know what I'm saying? They got stuff for the dogs and shit, you know? Um, so, yeah, man. And they got great prices, too, man. So go check them out. You know, look at that, man. They're getting on the ball. This shit's coming together. I can only speak that uh, I would ask for the Apollo bud because that shit got me feeling like like it's high school again, man. It got me looking forward to smoking a blunt. So big up to Apollo bud. And once again, if you got some Apollo bud laying around and you're hanging out with your lady and even a couple of friends, uh, you should have a game Triple X Playground on hand. You should have the Triple X Playground board game on hand at all times. Quickly turn your party into a party party ah, with Triple X Playground. And you can get that at triplexplayground.com, baby. It's the best adult game ever made. Not like all those other corny ones. Rub this, touch that. This will have you elbows deep in a loved one. Okay? And... uh you know, pick it up and see if I'm lying. You can find the links in our in our bios or whatever the fuck descriptions, rather. Yeah. And Brian. And shout out to What's Good CBD. Check it out. What's Good CBD.com for all your CBD and Delta 8 products. I can't type. Otherwise, I would have it up. Slack. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Cool. Check it out online. CBD Delta products. Should be a need, boy. We got him here. 
Yeah, there you go, man. I want to thank everybody who stayed with us. This was a long one, too, man. But uh, I want to thank y'all for hanging out. Uh, listen, I want to thank everybody for sending in and sending me those clips. Um, you know, uh, if you want to send us some clips, keep sending in some clips. I'll share them. Um, if you like it, I'll share them. Uh, and uh, I want to big up to all our listeners for staying this long and for being with us through all our episodes. Big up to you, Brian. You can follow Brian at Brian the Video Guy yes. on Instagram. You can follow me, Gary G. Garcia. You can catch me at Atlantic City with acjokes.com. Check out when I'm there. And every Monday at um, the Grizzly Pair. And also, we got the shows popping off over at uh, Apollo Bud. So follow me so you know when I'm there again. Until next time, people. Peace. Peace.